I'm Jeff Cogswell. Today here at Go Parallel, we're going to look at how to set up Visual Studio and Parallel Studio to use OpenMP. OpenMP is similar to Silk Plus in that it provides you with a way to accomplish parallel programming in C++. But unlike Silk Plus, it doesn't extend the C++ language. Rather, it relies on pragmas. Several compilers understand the OpenMP pragmas, including Intel's C++ compiler. So, to get started, go ahead and create a new C++ console application in Visual Studio. Then, click Project, Intel Composer, use Intel C++. That will switch your project over to Intel C++, but the compiler won't yet use OpenMP. For that, you need to add a compiler option. Click Project, then your project's properties. Under C, C++, go to Language, Intel C++. Find OpenMP support and switch it to Generate Parallel Code. Now your project is ready for OpenMP. The next step, then, is to add some parallel code. OpenMP provides a set of pragmas and several runtime functions. The pragmas are used to tell the compiler where to generate parallel code and how to declare variables to be used in parallel code. The OpenMP pragmas all begin with pragma OMP. The simplest form is pragma OMP parallel. With this pragma, the statement that follows will get duplicated and run on as many cores and threads as possible. You, you can do much more than that, such as create loops and such, but this is just to get started. I'll just put a cout statement here so that we can see what's happening. However, cout isn't thread safe, and normally you won't want to use it in this manner. Now, before we run this, let's make one more quick adjustment. By default, our projects are 32-bit. Let's make it 64-bit. Open up the Configuration Manager. Click on Release. Then, under Active Solution Platform, click New. For Platform, click X64. Copy the settings from Win32. Make sure Create New Project Platforms is checked. Then click OK. Now, close it up. Now let's try out our program. Make sure the release x64 configuration you just created is active. Click build, build solution, then click debug, start without debugging. And it's running. Now I'm running on a pretty powerful machine here with 16 cores, each with two hyperthreads. That means I'm getting 32 copies of this statement running. On a typical quad core, you'll see eight copies. Uh, that's because a quad core has two hyperthreads for a total of eight. Now, what if you want to run more than one statement? Well, that's easy. Just surround them with curly brackets. Here, I'll add a second C out statement and put a couple curly brackets around it. Now, when we run it, each pair of statements runs in parallel. Now, one more point here. If I add a final line of code, that code won't actually run until all the threads are complete. I'll add this final done line like so. Then I run it. And you can see that the word done doesn't appear until the very end. The threads are synchronized in that the main thread won't resume until all the other threads in the statement are finished. And that about sums up how you can set up Visual Studio and Parallel Studio to use OpenMP along with the Intel C++ compiler. There's much more which I cover in my articles on Go Parallel and I can cover here in future videos.